Hi guys, Ms. Hargraves here. In week seven, we're gonna be working on volume of composite figures today. So this is where we have more than one figure that we need to find the total volume for. So on this question, it's already telling us the volume of A is 72 and the volume of B is 144. So it wants to know the total volume. To find the total, we'll add those two numbers. So 144 plus 72, four plus two is six, Seven plus four is 11, carry the one. One plus one is two. So my total volume is 216 cubic centimeters. Next question. Again, on this one, they're gonna give us the volume of each um, figure, and then we're gonna find the combined volume. So it's telling us for A, it's 70, and for B, it's 60. So the total would be 70 plus 60. Zero plus zero is zero. Seven plus six is 13. So my total volume would be 130 cubic feet. On this one, we're figuring out the volumes of each shape on our own and then combining them. So the volume for A, remember volume is length times width times height. So we need to do six, times three, times two. Well, I'm gonna do three times two over here using uh, my multiplication properties. Six times six is 36. So the volume for A is 36. Now I'm gonna find the volume for B. Three times three times four. Three times three is nine. Nine times four is 36. Remember, you can use your multiplication chart if you need to. So now I have 36 for A and B. Wants us to find the missing height of this figure. So looking here, we're trying to figure out this height, right, where the question mark is. If I know this whole thing is 15 and up to here is 10, right? So up to here is 10. But this whole thing is 15. 10 plus, what would give me 15? Well, 10 plus five. So this would be five. Same thing on this one, it wants us to find the missing length. So the whole thing is eight. I know we have three and three. So three and three is six, but the whole thing is eight. So then eight minus six would be two. Now, if I added three plus two plus three, I would have eight. So we're gonna put in a two here. All right, guys, and that's actually it for this quiz. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to your classroom teachers or one of the resource teachers, and we are here to help you with anything you need. All right, guys, have a great week seven.